Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about One Piece's new chapter, which is on chapter 1070. Now, this chapter right here looks really simple, and we get to know more information about from Vegapunk, you know, which I thought it was pretty interesting and pretty awesome. So, if anything else, let's just get this started. Um, we have to it that, like, um, Sentomaru seems to survive a bit after using his hockey in order to block the attack. However, you know, he's still got freaking, like, um, chomped up got pierced through Luchi, you know? We have to it that, like, um, Luchi has to take care of Sentomaru, but we have to it Luffy comes in and uses, like, gum gum, booming white whip, and knocks and hits freaking, like, um, Luchi or Luchi dodges it, you know? We have to it that Luffy spins around like crazy right now, and Chop is like, what the hell are you doing right now, dude, huh? And we have to it that Seraphim goes into action, slaughtering any CP0 in their way. And we get to see Jinbei, the Seraphine Jinbei, having to use an ability that's like similar to like, um, what? Um, the swim sw swim fruit from like, um, what you may call it? Senior Pink from the Don Quixote family. We have to it that like, um, it looks like to me Vegapunk confirms that he actually somehow managed to copy the ability of, of this fruit. Only, only to be told like, um, by Vegapunk that he was only able to like uh, manufacture his own fruits artificially, you know? We have to it that like um, Vegapunk talks about sees a smile which is really unacceptable. But like um as Vegapunk continues his like um continues his speech about like fruits, he talks about if I if you have unlimited resources at certain times, certain special types of devil fruits can be recreated whatsoever. However, I'm only able to synthesize through fruits that can be awakened through something through something called green blood, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Vegapunk continues to talk about like he tries to recreate Logias, but they were actually trickier than expected. This is where like um, <clears throat> Vegapunk talks about like an alternative for Paramecia types, where you could synthesize a blood additive like from a Paramecia you. Paramecia's user's lineage factor, you know, that will grant the powers once transfused into it. So, what you see, what's running through the arms is green blood. So, in other words, Vegapunk talks about how he was able to synthesize Paramecia's, um, Paramecia devil fruits by grabbing maybe a certain blood factor from a certain person and synthesize it through, like, um, through green blood, which apparently, what, which apparently is what, like, um, the Seraphim Hancock has, you know, which is like she able she's able to use Mellow Mellow, you know, the love lo the freaking like um, devil fruit from Boa Hancock, and we get to see the Seraphim Seraphim Kuma able to use like an Ursha Shock or the Paw Paw fruit, you know, in order to cause some major damage here and there. We have to it that like um, that Vegapunk talks about like. Um, Talks about like in the peak science of what I'm accomplished right now may it go down as the most powerful beings in the history of the sea, as everybody as the Straw Hats I actually shocked about Vegapunk you know with you know not Chopper Jinbei and the others are present you know <laughs> we have to it that like um that this is pretty much a threat to all pirates because these weapons that are created by Vegapunk you know to to abolish the Warlord system in order to like um have them strong, it's because of Vegapunk, he created these things to begin with, you know? And we have to it that, like, um, we have to it that freaking, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, Sentomaru is still in a damaged state right now, while Luchi tries to finish the job, but freaking Lu- Lu- but Luffy, on the other hand, shows up in front of Luchi in his giant form and tries to eat him, you know? Freaking like um, Luchi manages to escape, but we have to it that Luffy ends up spitting out a bunch of debris at at Luchi, and freaking Luffy uses uses a new freak his awa his new awakened like um attack on on Luchi using gum gum booming white rocket and ends up doing some major damage to freaking Luchi. To be honest with you, I expected the fight to be a little like um what you may call it, a little bit longer considering that Luchi awakened his devil fruit zone power as well. However, it looks like to me I guess Luffy's power more complicated and at the same time it's a mythical zone plus a paramecia makes it a little like um more of a power gap, you know? Who knows? But we had to it that Seraphim Seraphim Hancock or Boa Hancock ends up having to tell them to go on the elevate, go into that ride whatsoever, and they end up going there right away. And then we have to it. Sentomaru tells Straw Hat, "I'm gonna trust you with Grandpa, 
Grandpa Vegapunk, I wish you the best. He says, no problem. I'm getting, getting him off this island no matter what. And we get to see, like, freaking Bonnie, Jinbei, and Chopper riding on a freaking, like, um, roller coaster ride while Luffy is pretty much suffering the side effects of using Gear 5, which apparently is going to be a running gag, but understandable because if we think about it, we've seen this when he activated this power with, like, um, Kaido and he ran out of, like, um, gas pretty quickly, but he could... I don't know. <laughs> you get the idea. And we see to it that like um that that um Luchi and the others finish off Sentomaru completely which which really sucks whatsoever, but we have to it that Luchi's kind of annoyed because like uh, if we had to wait for the Marines, it's annoying because like um, if we wait too long, they're going to get away, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to it that like um that that the Straw Hats are actually shocked to see the world government wants him, wants Vegapunk dead, you know, that kind of thing. And Vegapunk, on the other hand, says, I'm not going to let them do that because I have I have something else going on here and there. And we have to it that, like, Vegapunk plans to, like, um, get the heck out of here with the help of Luffy. Everyone's pretty shocked about this, saying, are you really going to freaking cause us a freaking target on our backs? Are you serious kind of thing? But we have to it that, like, um... <laughs> We have to it that, like, um, Luffy is actually pretty Im impressed with the freaking technology that he's at right now, you know? I guess he's back to normal. But we have to it, like, um, Chopper's wondering, hey, Bonnie, hey, Bonnie, where are you going, you know? And we have to it that Bonnie gets mad and says, of course, I'm going to try to make Vegamon turn my dad back to normal. If he doesn't do that, he's he's going to die, you know? Etc. But we have to it that, like, um... We have to, it looks like to me, the Seraphine, which is Boa Hancock, Jinbei, Kuma, and Mihawk right now, is pretty much with the freaking CP0 since, you know, they managed to freaking destroy Sentomaru and that they got gained control of them, you know? We have to it that, like, um, Luchi makes the announcement about them, like, we have to it that Luchi is not going to plan to let them escape, obviously, from the get-go, you know? Even though Luchi got his butt handed or beaten up by Luffy, their battle was somewhat interrupted as they did not manage to finish it, you know? So we're gonna have to see that fight later or maybe next or another time because we have to a Kizaru gets news about the Straw Hat being on Egghead Island and allying themselves with Vegapunk, you know? And he goes like, oh, if they think this is gonna be easy, they're gonna, they're not, they're gonna, they're not, they're, they got another thing coming to them, you know? And he therefore orders as many warships as possible to Egghead Island. And it looks like to me like um, <sighs> Kizaru is about to go into action. And honestly, Kizaru, let's all be honest, has been a powerful, nasty antagonist to Luffy and his crew. I mean, think about it. I mean, like, um, look what happened on Shabari Archipelago. They were never prepared for him to begin with. And, you know, like, um, we've seen him, what he could do at the Marine Fold War. That guy never took any damage at all, you know? So the only person who's able to possibly face Kizaru head on is either Zoro or Luffy. But we'll have to see because we all know Kizaru is a tough guy, man. <laughs> and him getting ready to possibly mess things up and possibly want to kill the Straw Hats once and for all is going to be something that's going to be difficult. But it's not going to be easy either. As for Luffy, he had trouble with Kaido, but depending on how strong Kizaru can be because he's a Logia user. And I'm pretty sure he mastered his fruit to a point... To like um, dodge a lot of attacks too. And he do I'm pretty sure he's not going to underestimate Luffy. Considering that he's a Yonko now. Plus like um, knowing that he's awakened his power and fruit. I'm pretty sure he might have awakened his too. But we'll have to see. Because like um, it's pretty crazy here and there. So we'll have to find out how this turns out. So yeah pretty much like um, we get to know how like um, freaking like. Um, what you may call it. Um, how. How Devil Fruits are synthesized, well, Paramecia, it's all thanks to Vegapunk able to, like, and grab a certain blood and then tr tr synthesize it in into a blood additive, you know? And that's the reason why Boa Hancock, along with Jit, I mean, like, um, Seraphim Hancock, Seraphim Kuma, and Seraphim Jinbei has Paramecia Devil Fruits, which I thought it was pretty crazy and interesting seeing how, like, um, Oda's being really crazy with Vegapunk being the crazy fictional, like, um, scientist bring out the best of fiction or something. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see how this goes out for, like, um, 
for the others for for Luffy and the others because Kizaru is gonna show up and guarantee Luffy and, or Zoro is gonna fight Kizaru head on because I only see two of those people capable to possibly harm or even damage Kizaru at this point. <laughs> We'll have to see. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off a zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.